Salutations, here we have today's Orisha's reading. It's 10-3, October the 3, that's 1 and 3. As you can see, the top card of the peak of the pyramid is Obatala, the Most High. Synchronized by his higher and lower self here as the medium walks the earth, shattered by the Holy Spirit, which is represented by the Son of the Dove. Next to that, you see the Five of Fire, the Guardian Angel, the Eighth of the Earth, the Potter, the Initiate, Ninth of Fire, and we have the Seven of Fire, Bravery. We go from the Outcast to the Ace of Water, which is the Dolphin, Philadelphia, and we have the Three of Air, the Great Eagle, and we have Ten of Earth. Now, to see it the way it was drawn, you'll have to visualize the story being told like this, with the four corners of the foundation of the four elements. Now, when you look at it, think about it. Philadelphia is normally in the east, but now Philadelphia is to the bottom in the west. It's been a changing of the guards, so to speak. The outcast is now on the west, and it is also to the corner position, being pecked by the chicken at its foot precariously at the slippery slope of the precipice. Now, here is the southern part of the east, Southeast position, the air, three of air, the eagles fly over confidently looking down at his shadow and is about to attack his shadow, which is just himself. But if he attacks himself, he's going to collide in a cliff, which is calamitous at the moment. But if he endures, now looking in the new northeast position is the ten of earth. A ten brings balance with the abundance of all the resources of earth. So here comes Harry Potter. The potter and the clay creating new technologies from within, innately. And the initiate, which is nine, nine is completion. Here is a feminine adept sitting, travailing for the spirit, with all the candles of the chakra forming a triangulated pyramid. And here you see, facing your fears, facing the fire of heavens, which is the test. The dragon comes down from the heavens with seven plumes of smoke coming towards you. And as you can see, from time to time, it takes a village to come together to defeat a great threat. Guardian angel, which represents the earth, pouring forth in the edge of Aquarius, the maiden, which is Virgo, pour forth the water into the two vases, one above and one below. And again, represented by Obatala or Ashala, Oxagayan on the ground, and Oloron, the synchronized representation of the supreme creator embodied in a form, Obatala or Oba. Tall one, giant, synchronized by the Holy Spirit, the dove, and this is your reading. Those of you who want a more in-depth explanation, please feel free to give me a call. You can reach me via my website, www.ironandclayministries.com, and you can also register for your sessions by PayPal. Email is ironandclayministries at gmail.com. We do have mentorship and spiritual ascension forums going on where we provide these guided life coaching services for those of you who are embarking on the ascension journey going within. So, happy 333 to you. It is only $33.33 to do a session for 30 minutes of guidance in going through whether it is divination by intuition or tarot or accessing the Akashic Records. This is how you know. Tune in until next time tomorrow. And we will be here. Love light to you. It's all about the four corners, the four pillars centering with you at the center of it all. That's the symbol of the atom. The easy way to heal, Ezekiel wheel or your nucleotides, your cells transforming. This is what it's all about. Self-realization, self-actualization and ascending from the lower to the higher plane, bringing it all in. 420, four square.